Hello, my name is Chris and I will review the living daylights out of this 2017 Honda Civic Type R. I hope you'll find this video useful and interesting. On the outside, the boy racer styling makes Type R for young people only. And that was important for Honda given that over the last 15 years, they have pretty much been making dad's cars with little style and little youth appeal. Bulging wheel wells containing 20 inch tires with four piston Brembo front brakes make quite an impression. Honda is serious about this car. Lots of plastic cladding give Type R a busy, busy style, but certainly one that conveys speed. When has Honda last done that? It's best to think of Type R as an SI that has been modified by some of the best engineers in the world. I won't get too much into the tech details as this is a general purpose channel. Rather, I will mention the engineering highlights that I feel justify Type R's steep asking price of over $40,000 Canadian with a high interest rate. That sounds expensive, but upon closer inspection, it is actually a bargain. At 1,415 kilograms or 3,120 pounds for my US viewers, Type R is really a super lightweight, unrivaled really, and achieving low weight is expensive. Some of the notable weight savings are 20 inch aluminum wheels, an aluminum hood, aluminum lower arms and knuckles. The front suspension in fact is bespoke. The engine is smallish with a two liter turbo. Also, the weight of the car is all the more impressive when you consider Type R had to be reinforced either with more metal or better metal to handle the added power. This car feels over engineered when you drive it. I love that. Honda brags Type R can be used on the track. After driving it, I believe them. The adaptive suspension is coupled to the three drive modes. According to Honda, the drive modes correct suspension damper, steering, throttle mapping, stability slash handling assist, and traction control. The suspension continually adapts based on three G sensors, suspension sensors, and steering angle. The rate of fluid flow in the shock absorber varies, hence adaptive, creating a harder or softer ride depending on mode and circumstances. Comfort mode is particularly dynamic, best in class according to me. Type R comes with a large trunk handle that rivals STIs and as you can see, being a hatchback, Type R has a lot of storage capacity. There is room in the back, though headroom is a bit limited, but your friends can still go there if they measure less than 5 foot 10. For example, I fit easily. In front, Type R comes with crazy seats, which are more comfortable than they look, way better than those Ford Recaros, yuck. It is Honda Civic in here, and as with most cars like this, they put the money in the engineering. Of note, the steering wheel is superb with incredible heft. The 542 watt sound system comes with rattles free of charge when you play it loud. The infotainment is a mess. CarPlay and Auto are standard, thank God. The engine makes 306 horsepower and 295 pounds of torque, runs on premium gas and fuel economy stands at 10.6 in the city and 8.3 on the highway. Rev matching can be disabled, but why the hell would you? There is a real mechanical limited slip differential, which puts the power to the wheel with the most traction and works seamlessly with the computer to nearly eliminate torque steer. That in itself is an incredible engineering achievement and software does not increase weight. Here are my driving impressions. They are excellent. Hello car lovers, reviewing the 2017 Honda Civic Type R, a car I've been wanting to drive for a very long time. Normally I don't watch reviews about cars before I review them, not to suffer from confirmation bias, that's what happens often. However, I couldn't help myself, I watched a lot of reviews about this car. What I like about this car is the lightweight. That's the, one of the things I really love about this car. They made a 300 horsepower car at 1,415 kilograms. That's pretty amazing. Nobody else does that, especially at $40,000. STI, Golf R, all way more because of their four-wheel drive system. 
so it feels even lighter on its feet than those two cars. What Honda, the magic of Honda, what they've managed to do is minimize negative effects of a front wheel drive car. So usually front wheel drive cars suffer a lot from torque steer. They've softwared their way out of torque steer. You can feel that the computer is working, except you don't feel that much tugging in your, in your steering wheel, which is kind of amazing. Has a short first gear, zero to 60 they say is 5.7, 5.8, 5.9. Yeah, it does because it is a front wheel drive. However, when you're beyond first gear, which is most of the time, uh, it feels more like a five second car because of the 300 horsepower and it's lightweight. Relatively good fuel economy also for such a powerful car. The suspension has three settings and they are linked to the drive modes. So you have the Comfort, Sport, and then the R+, which is probably the track mode. You're not really gonna use the R Plus in, re in regular day driving. Uh, you probably won't use the Sport that much either, but the Comfort is where the gold lies. The Comfort mode is pretty comfortable, yet is very sporty. I, I'm not quite sure how they did that. The transmission is excellent. I was driving fast before and I just love the manual transmission. And then we did some traffic and I was reminded why I have an automatic transmission. So if you live in an urban area, think about that. The clutch isn't too hard. I like Honda clutches. They, they don't have like too much of an aggressive bite point. They're soft, they're bearable in traffic. As I'm driving this car around town, it's actually pretty easy to drive. Um, much less punishing than the STI, though the Golf R I think is a bit better in terms of the everyday drive. Engine characteristics, well, this engine does have quite a bit of torque in the low end contrasting to the Golf R and the STI which oddly enough have their power in the higher range. I find this engine more satisfying to drive fast. Also another thing that you have to think about is the incredible Honda reliability. It gives you confidence when you're beating the car that you know it won't break. That contrasts sharply with STI and Golf R. It's got lots of room here, lots of room in the back except for headroom for the over five foot 10. In front, the seats, when you look at them, you're thinking to myself, oh my God, my back is gonna be finished within 10 minutes. And there's something about these bolsters, they're kind of soft. I've been driving around now for over an hour straight. Before that, I drove another hour straight and I don't feel any pressure points in my back or my legs. It's kind of amazing. Only now, after doing traffic and city driving, are my thighs becoming sore from the side leg bolsters. It's kind of amazing because when you do drive fast, the bolsters really hold you into place and you need that with a manual transmission. You can't use your left foot against the dead pedal when you're shifting gears. Rev matching is freaking awesome when you're driving fast. No longer have you, you have to think about heel and towing. No longer when you're doing simple passing that you have to rev match on the, on, on the, on the downshift. It's wonderful. So uh, I'm gonna boot this car right now to show you what I mean by this car being fun. First gear is a bit short, but the second gear there, once the turbo, whoa. Wow, that is, ah! <laughs> That's fun. It's so fun. The brakes bite so hard. The rev matching is so, oh, I don't have to worry about this shit anymore. Really, really awesome driving experience. Awesome driving experience. I can just imagine myself driving up north for an hour just booting the shit out of this car. Now the look of the car is a little bit controversial. It's basically two camps, those who are over 40 and those who are under 40. <laughs> and I think the styling of this car is really designed for people who are under 40. And you have to think about that. Uh, Honda has not been producing a lot of products which, which generate brand memory. And what I mean by that is well, in the 90s, we all drove, like everyone my, who was young, well, Generation X, people like me, we all knew that the Honda Civic hatchback was the best car in the world. And the SIs and the Acura Integra Type Rs, they were all like really best in class. As young people haven't had that from Honda in recent years. This is the first car I would propose to you that Honda makes that I think will create that kind of brand memory in young people, and that stays with you. Today, when I buy a Honda, I've bought quite a few Hondas over the years. Well, they're pretty much all dad's cars, and the competition pretty much does just as well. However, because of that brand memory in my brain, I kind of like gravitate towards Honda. It's a weird effect. Currently, the car brand with the 
most youth factor is definitely Subaru. When I go to car shows, I look at the kids and they're all around the WRX, the STI, and the BRZ. I mean, they're all there in Subaru. They're not in Honda. They're not they're just not there. What I like, I understand most kids are going to end up buying a, a Honda Fit, but you you're not going to dream about Honda Fits. You're not going to watch a Honda Fit video five times because you're completely passionate about it. It this this is a passion car, and you have to be passionate because this is over forty thousand dollars. And I built this Honda Civic and in Quebec over the course of 60 months if you buy it it's 911 dollars a month i mean almost nobody under 40 can afford it and those who can't afford it have other options more comfortable options more brand prestige options so this car is kind of honda thinking about the next 15 years really so those are my thoughts on the 2017 honda civic type r a car that's wonderful to drive fast i think it, it's funner to drive than all its rivals it is surprisingly easily easy to not drive fast you can actually do your daily commute in this car without killing yourself. Just a wonderful, wonderful driving experience. I loved it. Ross loves it. And you're going to say, yeah, you guys are a little bit sold out Honda. You guys both own Hondas. Yeah, well, that's true. But I mean, uh, if you have a chance to test drive it, go out and drive it. The, the, the 0 to 60 time does not accurately reflect the intense push of the pickup that this car provides. And I, I think you're going to enjoy it.